Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And most of the time when people come here, they want to see the Mothman statue behind me or the museum across the street. But Main Street has a lot to offer. And I thought I'd show you some of the shops because when you're here, shop local, support the local businesses. And also, I want to show you a very special memorial. It's rather moving. So let's get started. Our adventure starts here. During the Mothman Festival, both sides of the street are filled with vendors. At the last Mothman Festival, I saw this shop and thought it was really nice looking. It's called m and Z Boutique. Across the street from the Mothman Museum is a coffee shop called The Coffee Grinder, and they sell Mothman cookies and Mothman droppings. Across the street from the coffee grinder is the post office. Across the street from the post office is the Low Hotel. And the Mothman Museum. Now let's go walk down to the other end of Main Street. There are a few shops I want to show you and something very special. Off of Main Street, along the river on this flood wall are a series of murals but there are three statues I want to show you these three statues were created by the same artist that created the Mothman statue and Chief Cornstalk in the foreground is one of particular interest legend has it that Chief Cornstalk signed a treaty with white settlers and when the white settlers deceived him he cursed them with the Mothman And this is a statue of General Andrew Lewis. And lastly, this is a statue of Lord Dunmore. A few doors down from the Low Hotel is Gallery at 409, and they sell original artwork and really beautiful stained glass. If you stop at only one shop in Point Pleasant, this is it. They have great items, very unique, and the staff is fantastic. And across the street from the Point Pleasant Trading Company is the Mason Jar Antique and Craft Mall, and they sell a lot of excellent, unique items. One of the things I like about Point Pleasant is that a lot of the shops promote and help raise money for animal rescues. Even though Point Pleasant has a lot of unique shops, they also have a lot of mainstream businesses like H&R Block and Jewelers. I love it when I encounter these veil pouch advertisements on the side of buildings every now and then. And this vacant lot was once a Ben Franklin's. And this is what I wanted to show you. This is located across the street from the Mason County Courthouse. I know you can't read it because of all the bird droppings, but this is the site of the Silver Bridge collapse when 46 lives were lost on December 15th, 1967. And this is the road that would lead to the Silver Bridge. And here's the plaque that says Silver Bridge Collapse Constructed in 1928, connected Point Pleasant and Canaga, Ohio. Name credited to aluminum colored paint used. First I-bar suspension bridge of its type in U.S. Rush hour collapse on 15 December 1967 resulted in 31 vehicles falling into the river, killing 46 and injuring 9. Failed I-bar joint and weld identification is caused resulted in congressional passage of National Bridge Inspection Standards of 1968. And Point Pleasant has a lot of murals painted on this flood wall, and I think this is the most poignant. I'm walking down what would be the road going on to the Silver Bridge, and they've painted a mural of the Silver Bridge. 
And this is the mural. And it has a rather eerie quality knowing that what happened back in 1967. And next to the mural is this plaque. Whether you believe in the Mothman or not, when you come here to visit the museum and the shops, it's important to remember the reality that 46 people lost their lives. As you can see, Point Pleasant is a really nice town with a lot of great shops. And if you come through here, be sure to stop at the Silver Bridge Memorial. You'll be glad you did. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Until next time, everyone, this is Cashew signing off.